All right, everyone, here we go. It's for all signs, whether you're human, raccoon, chipmunk, or bear, or whatever animal you are. You could even be a bobcat or a cougar, right? It doesn't matter. I don't care. All signs. Uh, we are going to pull our usual Friday reading here, which has become, this is like the fifth one or something, fifth in a row or fourth in a row, I don't know, something like that. One card for each sign. One card for each sign of where we're at in the soulmate cycle right now. Uh, it's a precursor to my weekly card poll, which is coming tomorrow, which is one card for each sign, but three clarifier cards for each one. Uh, we're going to paint a picture of the whole cycle. No need for timestamps. I'm going to blow through it. These are quick reads. At the end, I'll have the universe added all up with three cards and a bottom card and tell us where we're at right now. Here we go. One card for each sign. Paint ourselves a little picture here. Is it a lovely scene with mountains and streams? Or, or is it some sort of nightmare haunted house scene with grays and <laughs> dark blues? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. One card for each sign, universe. I'm shuffling the deck. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you found it for a reason. Bottom of the deck, the overall energy for everything I'm going to pull is Ten Pentacles. Look at the picture on the card. Well, it's Ten Pentacles. I mean, this could mean anything. This could mean your person's trying to make something work on their side. It could mean everything they're thinking of you is this. I don't know what's underneath it. The Seven of Wands. Somebody's hanging on to something that they shouldn't be. Mm, I don't think they should be. I don't. I think it's time to go bye-bye. Page of Wands with a four of wands. For a lot of you, your person's hanging on to something. And I saw that in the recent All Signs reading. That doesn't surprise me with the new moon energy that's in play. If you haven't seen my new moon reading, check it out for sure. Uh, let's go. You ready? Okay. Aries. The world. Well, I'm reading the incoming energy. Roles can be reversed, but for about 99% of you, uh, this is your person. Uh, a cycle is ending and a new cycle is beginning on their side, but the energy I get off this is very interesting. Again, I see someone, because of this, I see someone fighting that cycle. They're, they're slowing it down with their own shit. Okay, we'll find out more, we, you know, energy updates and all that fun stuff. T uh, Taurus, yeah, somebody's in their head. Too much thinking, overthinking. Somebody's overthinking this like crazy, and it's causing them a lot of problems. Um... Mm, I also get a fighting the urge here too, which is causing them to overthink about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Gemini. Somebody loves you. Somebody, you have an empathic connection with your person. If you sit in the quiet, quiet, dead quiet, and just let the energy flow, you'll feel what they feel about you. And I promise you, it's love. And I'm not clarifying, and I wish I could, but again, somebody's holding on to what they think, because this is the overall energy, the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody's holding on, holding back, defensive, stubborn about what they think Ten Pentacles is. Mm, I think it's futile. I do. I feel that in the energy. It's, 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 it, it, it's a waning energy. In other words, it's it's diminishing and that the resistance is futile kind of thing. Cancer, come out from under the table. King of Cups, he holds the Ace of Cups. They hold the Ace of Cups. Mm -mm. The person just is afraid to stick their neck out. They are. God, I wish I could clarify. Leo, King of Wands. Somebody's controlled here. It's the same shit we always get for you, Leo. I can't tell you apart from your soulmate so because you're intertwined at the angle of Leo. It's the same shit. It's the Burger King. Either them or they're being controlled by someone. I don't fucking know. It's the same shit we always get. Pride and ego getting in somebody's way here. I don't know. I'm so sick of that shit. And there's even a lion there. Look. Ah, for fuck's sake. Virgo. High Priestess. Mmm. This energy, strangely enough, is bouncing off the Queen of Cups from uh, Gemini, I believe that is. Uh, I wish I could clarify. Don't. 
it's a feeling of love welling up in someone. My ears are ringing too. It tells me that. Uh, it's a love is welling up in someone, but again, they're kind of it, it, you have a connection with this person. It's it's a conduit of sorts, but it's it's like you're receiving the information wrong. Does that make sense? You it's love information coming from the person and he and your person he or she they don't have to be a gemini it's love information coming from the person but you're getting it wrong you're receiving it in in, in like reverse order you need some kind of enigma machine to encrypt to to decrypt it for you to to decipher the information that's coming in that's what i get uh, however that is i don't know uh, it's love coming in wrong uh, bouncing off of here. Of Libra, Six of Cups. Somebody's thinking about what happened here. Somebody's doing a lot of thinking about what happened here. A lot of thinking. A lot. Um, but that's, that's all I got. I, they're just, um, you're on their mind. Big time. Uh, Scorpio, Ace of Wands. Somebody wants a new beginning here, yes, but that energy is feedbacking off off of the off the King of Cups and the Eight of Swords. Uh, they're again, like I told Cancer, they're afraid to open up. They're they're afraid to stick their neck out. I don't know why. They just are. It's just where they're at right now. It is what it is. It's honesty. If you want me to sugarcoat it, yeah, they're coming in for a brand new beginning. There you go. There's your sugarcoat. But that's not what's happening. The energy is doing this. I'm transparent with you. Uh, they don't have to be a Cancer or a Taurus. It's there's this isn't astrology. It's it's about energy, so uh, they're afraid to stick their neck out. Sagittarius, Chariot, Sagittarius, you got somebody headed your way. There's a lot of determination here. It it is again the Emperor drives the Chariot. The Emperor is tied to the Burger King energy. The Out of Balance Emperor is the Knight of, is the King of Wands. It's a little bit of pride and ego. They're going to have to swallow their pride and ego to do it. But somebody definitely is determined to come your way and at least straighten something out. Capricorn, the hangman, nothing, crickets, on the fence, crickets, I don't know, I'm not clarifying, but it's crickets. It's probably a lot to do with this seven of wands. Aquarius, six of pentacles. Mm. Somebody wants to give to you. Somebody wants to give to this connection that they either didn't give to before or didn't give very much. That's all I get off of it. I get the energy is just flowing right at me. Somebody wants to give. I'm not clarifying, so I don't know, but they want to. Pisces, Eight of Cups. Somebody's walking away from something they once loved and heading toward you. That's very clear energy, and I believe that's what's been coming up for you in recent readings, both energy updates and your November reading. Something along those lines, I would imagine. Somebody uh, walking away from something they once loved and coming right for you. Let's uh, pull the universe here. Let's have it do the math. Add up this soulmate cycle. Give me three cards and a bottom card for everyone. What do we got here? Mm -hmm. Let's see. What's this all mean, universe? Where are we at right now? Give me three cards and a bottom card. Go, go, go. Yeah, uh, I believe it. I see the bottom card. I totally buy it. Yep, 100%. Yeah, two swords, uh, king of swords, and the knight of swords. Somebody wants to make a plan, come, come toward their happiness. If we add up the whole cycle, all of your people... Uh, either want to come towards you or are thinking about it or something along those lines. But, okay, that's where the sugar coating ends, kids. But, they're at two swords. They're silence. It's crickets fucking chirping and it's because of the moon energy. The new moon. So again, watch my new moon reading. You'll understand what's going on. It's a lot of confusion around this card. It's making somebody want to come towards you, but it's also making them want to run. Whenever I see the King of Swords and the Knight of Swords together, especially in a three card like this, uh, it, it's, a, it's, it's a push pull. They want to run, they want to come towards you. They want to run, they want to come towards you. They know where their happiness is. He's got the Rainbow Sword. And I said it makes sense because the bottom card crossing the King of Swords is the Seven of Cups. It's confusion. It's illusions. It's 
it, it, it's a fucking mess. It really is. because, And it's a mess because, and I can tell you, this energy right here that Leo got, Leo and Cancer are the hot spots of this connection. So these energies are the strongest on the table. And I can tell you, they have the fastest moving connections is basically what that means. Um, I can tell you that for all of you, somebody, one of the things that's jamming them up is they're afraid to stick their neck out. And there's a lot of pride and ego here. Okay, there's a lot of pride and ego. And the confusion energy applies to a couple of them too. In particular, Capricorn and in particular, uh, right over here with uh, Virgo. There's mixed signals coming, so you're receiving information from your person. Um, there's a lot going on underneath that you don't know about. And what's happening is that's causing the information to get a little catawampus, if you will. You're kind of receiving it backwards. So you might think your person doesn't care, but they really do. Or you might think they care and they really don't. It could go either way, which then you tell yourself stories and that snowballs. So it's best just to focus on something else. For all of you, it's best to do that. So that's where we're at. We're at a lot of confusion right now. And uh, the only, uh, as always, Pisces gets the best card here. The Eight of Cups uh, is the best. Pisces got the best chance of their person showing up right now. <laughs> Straight up. The best chance. Although, Cancer and Leo here, you need to get over that shit. You need to, you need to get over this pride and ego, whatever's going on here, and being afraid to stick the neck out. Same thing with Scorpio. And over here, somebody's in their head too much with Taurus. And this one here, a cycle's trying to end, but somebody's fighting it. Fighting it big time. And we got a love, lot of love over here. We got a lot of love here for Libra. We got a lot of love here with, with Gemini. And, and, and nobody's doing anything. Everybody's just sitting, absorbing that moon energy. A lot's going to happen between now and the full moon. A lot's going to move because that 11-11 energy is going to come right down the middle of it and kick it in. Okay, So that's where we're at right now. That is our, our Friday one card for each sign. Tomorrow I'm going to pull the week. Okay, I'm going to stretch the time frame out a little bit. And again, all of this, there's no time in the energy. So all of this could be tomorrow. It could be three days from now. You're all on different timelines. However, for the week, weekly card pull, I pull one sign for one card for each sign and pull some clarifiers and see what's coming up in the energies for the coming week. We got Mercury and uh, uh, Venus in different signs now. So we're going to be stuck with Venus. I say stuck. I don't really like Venus and Capricorn. A lot of the astrologers seem to think it's a great thing. I've never liked it. Uh, but we're stuck with it for about four months. So because there's a, a, a retrograde of Venus. So uh, for some signs, it's going to work out good. Cancer, it's probably going to work out good for you. For sure. It's your seventh house. Just so you know. Uh, but for a few of the signs, you're not going to like it. I'm just going to be honest with you. And I don't care what the astrologers say. I track my own patterns. <laughs> I got notebooks going back years. All right, that's your reading. Uh, if you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right, good luck, everyone.